Hey guys, Tony Skawaii T here, and in today's video I'm going to showing you guys how to set up slash commands for your Discord bot. So let's get started. So getting started with the tutorial, if you don't have a Discord bot set up yet, I would suggest watching this tutorial on the top right of your screen. This will guide you through making a Discord bot in Node.js and hosting it in Visual Studio Code. And speaking of Node.js, if your bot does not use an .js and if you use something else like Go or Python, then it won't work for very obvious reasons. But what we're gonna do is go to your like main bot file for whatever you use. In my case, it's Visual Studio Code. I'm using this to execute the code, but you could be using something like Replit or another host or another code editor. But what I'm gonna be doing is right under this client on ready event listener, I'm going to create this function called setup slash command. So function setup slash commands oh, not command commands and then client guild id we're going to need this guild id since it's going to go through each of the guilds that the bot is in and then assign the slash commands for each server that the bot is in but from here we're going to define commands oh cons commands equals Oh, and then bracket and then for the first command I'm just gonna call it mimic so name mimic and then the description will be replies with whatever you set and then I'm going to also add some options because we're gonna have to have a place for the user to type in what they want the mimic command to repeat so I'm gonna do this by options just like that and then in here we're gonna do some curly brackets oh wait I also need a comma here my bad if you get any errors where it's like underlining one of the things over here then make sure that you have a comma right here or just like the line above it because sometimes it messes it up but from here what we're gonna do is name and say so this will be the name of the field and speaking of fields if you don't know a lot about the fields for slash commands i highly suggest documentation with interaction commands but i'm going to link the docs in the top of the description for interaction commands with discord this will teach you all the fields and stuff like if you need a minimum and maximum length if you want it to be an integer or whatnot and not just like a string for the options then check that out if you want to get more advanced but continuing i'm also going to set the inscription to the thing you want the bot to say and then i'm going to set the type to string and then this thing's underlined the red curlies and that is because i forgot a comma so i'm also going to set required to true and it's usually good to have required as true because sometimes fields aren't met and it kind of breaks the bot's code a little bit. And I'm just going to set a max length as 2000 because sometimes with Discord bots, um, they have an error when they try to send a message over 2000 characters. Uh, it's Discord and them being annoying, but I'm gonna set some commas over here. Oh, not right there. And then going from this bracket right here, going to create two new lines and then we're going to uh, define guilds. So const guild equals client.guilds.cache.get and then we're just going to define this as guild ID as we have it right here. And then if no guilds then we are going to air in the console that oh, air in the console that guild with the id guild id was not found so if there is a guild and if there's an error with the guild in any way then it will just air that the guild was oh not guild guild my bad guild was not found or now we are going to create two new lines right here and we're going to define them as 
or no, we're not going to define them as. We're going to write guilds dot commands dot set commands, and then we're going to catch any errors that happen. Catch catch error console dot error, and then some backticks and by the way these backticks you can send them by holding shift and tilde i'll leave this on the screen right now but within the console error we're going to put error setting commands for guilds and then oh, guilds dot name and then we are also going to put in and then guilds dot id and then put in the error right after it. And it looks like I had a typo when I put in error right here. So you wanna make sure that this has the, or that it's surrounded by the curly things, I forgot what they're called, and delete this one at the bottom if you have it, and then put some semi, sorry, and then put a semicolon right there. Looks like the semicolon should go right here, and the sem semicolon should go right here. But now, if you have the client uh, on ready event listener, then from here, we're just gonna add a few lines of code. So starting from the bottom, creating two new lines, we're going to do for each guild. And then for each guild, we're going to call the setup slash commands function with the client defined and then the guild.id and then a semicolon right there and then one can go right here and make sure that guild is not capitalized for this line and then this should be everything that we would need for getting the slash commands set up in the server and then having the client dot ready thing add the slash commands for each guild that the bot is in so you probably are familiar with the client on message create event listener and we're going to do something similar with a client on interaction create event listener so starting from the bottom i'm going to do client on interaction create async interaction oh, interaction And then from here, we're going to set up a try. And then as you see, it's gonna air right here. So at the bottom of this, or with this closing squiggly bracket, we're going to do catch error to catch any of the errors. And then we're gonna do console.error error. So anything or any errors that would happen in here, it would be caught by this try and then it would console log that. So within here, we're gonna do if interaction dot command name equals 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 mimic then we are going to define mimic as const mimic equals interaction dot options dot get string and then say so as you see this will get the string say from the interaction and as you see it is defined as a string up there and then this will just define the option that you type in for the say property or field or whatever it's called then we're just going to create two new lines and then type in await interaction dot reply you said and we're gonna do backslash n. This will create a new line whenever we are sending the message. So it's basically like doing shift enter. And then we're just going to put the mimic as we have it defined up here. And then some semicolons where they belong. The semicolons don't matter too much, but it just makes the code look better. And sometimes they do matter, so. I suggest putting them where they belong. 
Also before we go any further, I just noticed that I had some typos when I defined interaction right here and right here. So make sure that this is all lowercase and that the eyes aren't um, uppercase. But if I try to restart the script again, there shouldn't be any errors. Great, and client has been initiated slash command spot. So since all the code executed correctly, if I do slash mimic and then how about subscribe. As you see, the spot replies with you said subscribe. And speaking of subscribing, you should subscribe because you just successfully followed this tutorial with me. So if you guys enjoyed the tutorial, then check out some of the other tutorials on the end screen. If you have any questions about the code or if you need any assistance with the code, feel free to text me on Discord. My Discord is on the screen right now. It is TonyScaleYT, and if that doesn't work and if I don't respond, try adding TonyScaleYT dot because I've recently been terminated. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.